In the 2022.1 version of SA, we've done a little bit of updates to pipe relationships and pipe fitting and added MP scripting control. So I would like to give you a little demonstration and review of how pipe relationships work. So say we needed to cut the pipe segments to fit this scenario. And uh, just to go back for a second, oftentimes our customers are doing some pretty complicated stuff. So they're looking to actually fit segments that need to be cut precisely with very expensive materials and need to be welded together. And so you need to be able to optimize um, how the, the pipes should be run and where the cuts need to be made as you cut one segment at a time. So we have tools in SA to be able to do that. What you can do is set up the junctions using these relationships that are under special using pipe fitting. And we have a relationship for each junction and then we can run an optimization by moving collections. You can select what pipes to move. And then based upon these relationships, you can then run an optimization. I'm going to run that real quick, which will fit the objects together and you can find the best position for them. And um, what we've done in this version is add the ability to integrate this as part of an MP script so that you can customize this and provide greater user guidance. So let me go just to a very simple file. It just has two lines. And let's walk through how you might use a single relationship or build a pipe relationship. So again, under features, special, there's pipe fitting. And we now have MP control. So if I go to edit, I can bring up how these work and we can walk through them. So the first step is to build a relationship and you can just simply make pipe fitting relationship. And you'll see that a relationship shows up in the tree and the graphics kind of go crazy. And the reason for that is that the segments aren't defined yet. What you want to do is adjust the segments so that they actually represent the pipes that you've measured. And because pipes can be very uh, dynamic, you know, many different sizes and there may be different areas that are of interest, we allow you to custom adjust the segment sizes. And then you want to adjust the weighting parameters for how a cut is to be defined. So how far from one end, what are the important components of that cut, and where would you want it to be done? So that's the concept. And oftentimes people get confused because they first add a relationship and then have no idea why it looks so weird. But the key is to set up the ID and OD so you understand how big the segment is and, and where it can be cut. And once you define that and you control the weighting factors, and we have lots of weighting factors to control how the, the different segments pull together, you then have a clearly defined junction. And this junction then can be used in a stepwise manner in order to actually perform the cutting process to uh, build real pipes. And that process goes as follows. You first make one proposed cut. So if I say there, I'm gonna cut that, the green one was cut, and you'll see a frame appears. And this perfectly defines the position and orientation of that cut plane within the SA world. And a user then can go out and mark the actual pipe and cut the actual pipe using this 60 degree reference. Next, um, you would then cut the pipe and then remeasure it. And oftentimes, um, you know, reality is reality and the cut may not go as expected. And so you'll end up with an additional position and orientation of the real cut, which can be then measured. And then there's the ability to force the cut in the relationship to this actual position. And that readjusts everything. So this relationship not only allows you to define a cut, but sequentially walk through that cutting process such that you can then adjust based upon the real measurement and then continue this exact same process as you cut the second pipe and build a completed junction.